Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Sandy and this is Tracy. Hello everyone. And welcome we're back. And we're here painting with you from Brush Strokes Art Studio in Tewksbury, 1445 Main Street. So today we have a painting for you. We're going to be painting step by step, nice and easy. This is our painting of the month. We call it Home for the Holidays. Yay! And it's a personalized painting, which is really great. Um, I had painted this probably a year or so ago, and this is a friend of mine, so this is their name. This is not mine. But you can customize this to say anything you want, whether it be your name. You could have it be your children's name. It could be a location. Maybe you have a summer home or a ski chalet or whatever. You can put whatever you want on here, which is really great. Um, you can also customize this. We're doing red today. If you want to do a different color truck, you need to have that in your um, paints that you have at home. But you can definitely customize it, whether it be presents, and we'll talk more about that as we paint. Okay, so we're going to go over um, what you need to paint today. Um, so if you've tuned in with us before, you already know this, but I'm going over every time we have um, a painting episode just so everybody knows and make sure they have all that they need. Always a cup of water. It can be a solo cup, any kind of cup. This is our cup of water. Make sure you don't skimp yourself. Give yourself enough of water. Um, you will need a rag or a paper towel would be fine. Uh, your brushes, I don't know what brushes you have on hand, but I think three is fine. I have four, but as long as you have three different sizes, and I always say the most important one is the biggest one. Um, it should be maybe an inch wide. It will help you cover the canvas faster, otherwise it may take you longer than it takes us. Um, and then I have a medium, either any size medium, and then maybe a tiny brush for the details at the end, lettering or whatever else you need for details. Um, I use a paper plate for my paint palette, which is nice and easy. Tracy's yeah. holding that. Um, if you have take-home containers from takeout dinners or whatnot, save them. They're perfect. This is my favorite palette. This works best. Put the paint in it, um, cover it with another one. I put an elastic band around it, and it literally will last a week to two weeks. So this is perfect. So um, whenever you get takeout, keep the containers. Yeah, so if you're not finished or you had to maybe come back and relook at it and like something, you have the paint all ready to go. Okay, so, so your yeah. colors are red, blue, yellow, black, black white, and some brown. Yeah. Um, we're going to make green with the primary colors, which will be the blue and the yellow. Okay, so that should be easy enough to make the green. Okay, so uh, I'm starting, correct? Yep, we're okay. going to start. So we're ready to start. I'll and be I'm, back. I think the first thing we're going to do is the blue sky in the background. Um, so I'm going to mark a spot probably somewhere here, and I'll let you know, um, with blue. So we'll know we're only going down this far with the sky. Yeah, we're not filling the whole entire canvas like we've done in past paintings because the main focal point is the truck. Okay, so I'm going to uh, wet my brush, soften the bristles. Here we go. Put that aside for now. Okay, dry it on my rag. So now we want blue and we want a bit of a light blue, so I'm going to add a little bit of white paint to my blue just to lighten it so it's not too dark. We could definitely run out of room on this plate. Okay, and then let's figure out. So I'm going to say it's not the halfway point down the canvas, it's probably the three, quarter of, three quarters of a way. So I'd say my halfway point is some way here, half of that, three quarters of the way down is about right there. And then we are going to do long strokes back and forth, blue and white paint, nice and light. This is going to be our sky. If you're having trouble spreading the paint, you can definitely dip your brush in water to help it kind of smooth it out a little bit. I um, mean, don't be afraid to use paint. Uh, a lot of times when people actually do paintings, they use very little paint and they're not getting good coverage on their canvas. And the reason is being they're not having enough paint or they need to add a little bit more water. Who said that? I don't know. Yeah. It's Gelman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So All right. we usually do like some kind of trivia. Say, no, Tracy's I'm, gonna I'm, bring I'm, on the trivia. I'm, she was a little late today, I, but she's yeah, always prepared. You know, those those silly freight trains. She was just stuck are not behind fun. the train, but that's okay. I had wasn't really ready. behind it. I had to wait for it to go by. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was like, so you okay, it's cars. It's <laughs> like a hundred of them. Um, so I'm not really sure. But we usually have fun trivia um, related to our painting of, that we're doing for the month. So let's see what she has for us today. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so we, because we have a nice big tree in the back of our truck there. Well, this is about Christmas tree um, 
tree, uh, Christmas tree picking or something, right? Uh, no, it's just what about it? trees in general. No, but I mean the painting is their the paint, shopping, yes, for, their they're Christmas shopping tree. for their Christmas tree. The so tree they went farm. out kind of like, you know, uh, it's an old fashioned national Christmas. Van, uh, national Christmas, what is that? Christmas vacation. Uh, when they yeah. go and they get the tree. Have you seen that movie? Chevy yes, Chases, yes, and they have. literally go out, and the tree is like is ginormous, yeah. and it has the squirrel that's still in it, and everything. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's, I do remember yeah, that. That's a classic. Um, so no, but did you know that there are sixty thousand known tree species? No, sixty thousand. There's a lot of trees. Wow, I had no idea. You know, it, it is. Yeah, it's crazy. We're going to do the snow at the bottom. Um, it's white. Tracy said to yeah, use a tiny a bit, bit of it's not beige. bright white. It's not a bright, bright white. So we're going to dirty the snow just a little bit because the car's on it. Because it hasn't just <laughs> it snowed It has an exhaust. It doesn't has just snowed. It's because if I grand. do white, you are not going to see it anyway. Right. So I'm going to so. add a tiny bit of brown, but you yeah. can do whatever you want at home. You want to add I won't a little add bit so much. it gives it a little, yeah, just a little just bit so of color Just so we see there's it. a ground there and it's dirty snow. Right. It's not the nice fresh snow that just fell the night before. You know, they just messed it up with their... Top. So how far up am I going? I would go about four or five fingers. Yeah. Not too fine. far. Don't go too far, about four fingers up. So I'm probably going to stop here. And did you also know that trees didn't exist for the first 90% of the Earth's history? Really? I know. I'm getting so educated now. Wow. Who yeah, knew? we're going to learn a lot from this. We are going to learn a lot. And wow, that made, that's really interesting. I know. I had no idea that that, that was like that. And that the first known tree was a leafless, fern-like plant from New York. And I would never think New York, because I always think of the city. Wait, not say like, that again. I didn't hear the I beginning. I said the first known tree was a leafless, fern-like plant from New York. Really? The first mm -hmm. known tree? Wow. Yeah. It's I crazy don't know how they, they know can the even, I know. Tree. That's what I mean. They even date it back. How yeah. would they know that? I don't really know. So I'm just thinking, like, when dinosaurs were here, were there trees then? Is that a stupid question? I don't know. I don't you recall watch, you watch, in the you pictures. You watch Jurassic Park in this tree. So oh, there I don't, is. Yeah, no, well, there right. is, but that's Jurassic yeah. Park. So I don't really know because I wasn't here then. So I can't <laughs> Okay, so that. now we are ready for the fun part, and we are going to sketch out the truck. Yay, this is going to be nice and easy. Trace is going to do it. <laughs> Yay, <thanks. laughs> Even of her. So um, as you see, and I always tell people when they paint, is everything is shapes. So don't look at something and go, oh, I can't do this. So what it is, is these are just all different shapes. So here is just a long rectangle. These are just kind of like, I don't even know, ovally squares at the bottom and stuff. This is another long rectangle. And this is just a slightly angled up two lines. And then just kind of I like a rainbow top. So that's the way you kind of have to look at it. So we are going to break that down for you when you sketch it out. And also keep in mind when you do sketch it out, you want it big. Um, when I've taught this in the past, people make smaller trucks. Um, so if you think of, you want this to be your main whole focal point of the painting because that's what your eye goes to. So we're going to take your medium brush, whatever you choose to have. I have like a pointy type, fluffy one I would always call it. Or you can use a flatter one. And we're actually going to sketch this out in red because we have all this space to do this in. And if you do make a mistake, um, you can easily take your paper towel or your um, rag, dip it in water and wipe it off. So, um, you know, a lot of people like can't draw a straight line. Nothing has to be completely straight. And then after we do the sketch, we have to tr um, go over everything in black anyways. So we're just going to take this. I'm going to get a little bit wet. I'm going to take a little bit of the red and have it on my brush. And I'm just going to kind of measure. So what I'm going to do here is in my center point, I'm going to look and I'm going to say, well, it's about three, three to four fingers up from the top. And I'm just going to do a dot just to kind of um, figure out where I want it to go. No, that's a length. Yeah, I'm gonna do four fingers. I'm gonna go a little higher. So anyway, so and then um, and then the other side. So on this side, it's just about three. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna do a dot, and this side is about two. So follow Tracy's dots. That way, your truck is not too small because right. that's a mistake most people yep. will make. So, so as long connect as you the dots. follow. So all we have right now is just you know three to four fingers, depending how you know if you have thinner fingers or wider fingers. Um, just do a dot. So now we have three dots. So all I'm gonna do here is just connect those dots. So I'm going to do just a little bit of a line here, okay? And then my bumper is about two fingers. So I'm going to go about two fingers. I'm going to just do another dot, okay? Same thing over here. So yeah, so we just made um, the first um, bottom line here. And then the other one is about two fingers. We did a dot. And then the middle, we did a dot. And then the end, we did a dot. So then you do the same thing. You're just going to go ahead and connect those dots. Okay, so this is right here. This is your bumper. That's what we have so far. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to do this whole piece. Um, we're going to start with the rectangle in the middle and then do the other two side bumpers. So on this, okay, we take our fingers once again, 
this is about three dots. I'm going to do a dot here and the other side just about three dots, okay? So as you can see, it's over just a little bit on the sides here. And then the next question is, well, how big is this? I'm going to say it's about a hand, okay, for the whole entire side of um, the back of the truck where your, I guess, the, your trunk of your truck. Um, so probably about a hand. I'm going to go like this in my center. Center point's always good to start with. So I'm going to do another center point here, all right? And then same thing. Two, I know it's like how. Let's so see. do the box. Just do, do the, box. the box. So yep. we're going to do a box. Yeah, my little. So I'm just going to do a box. So as I said, it doesn't have to be completely. So you'll be amazed straight. that you drew this truck in the end. It's all breaking down shapes. It's so Good as job. you see. So we see we have this part which is here. We have our bumper and then the sides. It looks like so to get Frosty's hat. Frosty's hat. There you go. It's not as high. We need a little flower here. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's a little rabbit. So what I'll do next is I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go slightly curve and just go ahead and connect the two. Okay. And Yay, connect. Look at that. All right. So now we have I our two it. bumpers. All right. Excellent. We have a little cheering team over there. Yay. So then the next part is if you see, okay, they're not straight lines. They actually veer out a little bit slightly. So what I'm going to do is to get a focal point of where we're going to stop is at the top of the painting. I'm going to say it's probably about four fingers or so. So my center point I'm going to find again. I'm just going to kind of draw a dot right about here because that's where your center point will be, you know, of how high you're going to go. And it is rounded. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually start with these points here. So that's easier. So I'm going to, you can ask me about how far. Um, let's see. So right where the sky is, we're going to do, yep, we'll do a, we'll do a dot about couple fingers in here all right and this is a whole science <laughs> this is I know it is it is and you know what everyone's a lot of times really visual and they really want everything to be perfect but as long as it looks similar to what this is and that's what I always tell people and if you've seen my uh, you know past um, painting events that we've done it's like it's not going to look identical to this it's going to look similar and it's all about the experience not about how perfect yours is compared to mine so on this we're just going to now slightly go up at an angle here and then here okay so now that's the back of the truck and then this is the rainbow part so you're going to just kind of go like a rainbow and go and connect so do from nice and dark red so they here can see. to here here to here not. so you know here to here so that's the shape of your truck okay and then we have these two little bumps on either side so you're going to say about how big? I'm going to say about three fingers or so. I'm just going to put a dot on either side, three fingers. And you're just going here and connecting dot and then dot. So those are your side mirrors. Nice and easy. So, you know, that's kind of how that should be. We will add um, the wheels also. Um, I'm also want to sketch out where your mirror is in the back. So it's basically the same shape as this whole piece here. So we're going to take our finger. We're going to go probably four or so down, find your center point, do a dot, okay? And you want to fall, and then you're going to add, let's put, let's So that's see. window. Window, yep. So the window. And I'm just going to go about four fingers in, four fingers in, okay? And the same thing. So this is your sides. So you have one side, one side, okay? And you're just going to go straight across here. How many fingers at the bottom should be? So um, that looks like there's a little bit more. These are about three, so it's a little bit off, but that's okay. I don't think that really is a big deal. So if you want to go a little bit higher, you can. Because Mine's they about can't three. see it because the tree, so you'd say it's, it's three fingers or four? Um, I think three, I think that probably. looks about four. Oh, okay. Yep. I mean, that's, on that one's four. Mine's actually three, yeah, but if you want to go matter, a little right. bit higher, it doesn't yeah, really matter. And then the same thing you want to have. You just want to have a window there in the back. Yep. You know what I mean? So that you want to kind of block that out too because that's going to be in white. So um, what you want to do is now you have that blocked out. So you can take your brush. We have the whole entire sketch. We just don't have the wheels yet, which is fine. That's a simple just black. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and I'm actually going to block this out um, in white right now and get that all cleaned up because then we're going to take a quick break and we're going to go ahead and add our trees and all our other details and things like that. So I'm just okay. going to quickly take my same brush, clean it off, take just my plain white and I'm just going to block all this out so you don't see the sky in your window. And I'm just going to go right over that. And you want to make sure you don't pull any red in it because you don't want a pink window. So I'm just going to go ahead and block all this out 
with white, especially the blue part. Um, so, yeah, definitely. Do you have any fun tree facts over there? I did read something, too, that they actually took a tree to the moon, and then they grew really? it here. Yes. Wait, um, they took a tree They took to a tree or seedlings or something to the moon, and they grew it on the moon to maybe see it would be differently. Um, wow. Yeah, I had no idea. It was, it was so really... So here's a strange fact. Um, before... Wait, where did I lose it? Trees and forest. <laughs> I know it. Oh, some trees emit chemicals that attract enemies of their enemies. What the heck does that mean? Oh, probably like, so if there's a bird and there's an enemy of it, it attracts them so that it keeps them safe maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to remember what some I was Some trees yesterday. emit chemicals that attract enemies of their enemies. That's really interesting. I'm not even sure what it so means. So yeah, so you basically should have this shape. Okay, um, you know what, I think I'm actually going to, you know what, I am going to color it in red now because she's going to be doing the tree itself and we need to do that beforehand. So we have the white, we can go ahead, we let that dry a little bit, we can color all this in red. So we're going to go ahead and you can even take your bigger brush that you started with if you want. So what take, are you doing now? I'm going to do, fill it all in red do because we can't, over and do that? Um, if you'd like, you can because I know you enjoy lines. painting. Sandy really likes color in that, so she's going to do that. Color she's something. like, I want to color in the lines. We're going to fill in the truck really quickly. Is it red? Did you add any other color to the no, red? No, it's just, just red, red, and then I added highlights. All right, so it's just straight on red. Um, Tracy did a great job sketching this. It's amazing how you can just break down shapes yeah. and... Wow. It is, and that's really key, you know, and um, I don't know if I've mentioned this in any other videos. I went to school for graphic design, and so I wasn't really a painter, and, you know, I've been doing this almost eight years, and when you look at a painting, that was the biggest struggle, was trying to figure out how to explain to people how to paint certain things. And now that I'm able to look at that and actually break it down in shapes, it makes it just so much easier. And I think when you're, if you're painting or you see something you love, Look at the shapes that are in it, because everything is made of shapes, whether it be half of a shape or a quarter of a shape or whatever. And if you break it down that way, it just makes everything so much easier to actually paint. It's amazing. So. All these paintings on the walls, when we do our paint nights or paint parties, people say, oh my gosh, I'm never, I would never be able to do that. But that's how we do it. We instruct it. And literally anything that looks difficult is just, yeah, just like Tracy did with the truck, broken down into all these tiny little shapes. And you'll be amazed at how... You can paint anything. Yeah, no, it is. It's just very relaxing. I think it, you know, during this time where a lot of people haven't been able to be together or with other friends or family, you know, to sit down and actually play some nice music or whatever, whatever you choose, and just be able to sit and paint and be creative. Um, you know, and also to keep in mind that if you do a painting and you don't really love it, you could always take white or something called gesso and actually repaint over your canvas, and then you can use that and start over again. So, you know, um, that was the funny thing. A lot of people that came to our events, they went to many, like 20 or 30 more, and they're like, what do we do with all these canvases? We have so many of them. I'm like, you can repurpose them. You know, you can even do a collage on them or whatever, too. So um, look on Pinterest. Love Pinterest. Um, Do you know a large oak tree can consume about 100 gallons of water per day? And it, um, yeah, 100 gallons yeah, of water. Sense. That's a lot of water. Yeah. That's so probably... I just want to chime in for a minute. Yeah, so, of course. So uh, be sure you're not painting the, let me darken this line. Do not do the bumper. No bumper. That's gonna, going to be white, so we don't want to paint that. Also, I do not want you to lose this line here and here. So how will we do that? I'm going to touch a little bit of black paint right now. Yeah. Just to go over this so Good I don't thinking. lose this. Because you have to go over In it fact, back anyways. Yeah, I think that's I fine. I don't know if you're daring, let's just do this too. I don't want to go through all of this because Tracy will be mad at me, but this no, at least that's so okay. we're not losing this square. That's fine. The lines that we already did. Okay, so. Just want to be careful you don't pull the red now in with the black. That's all. The red in with the black. You mean, yeah, but yeah. It, it'll only make it like a burgundy. Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah, okay. That's all. Not a problem. All and right. you know, trees have been in existence for, guess how many years? Oh, God. I know, I was asking you this. Just pick a number. Oh, I don't even know. Hundred. Thousands of, I don't know. Trees Just have been... over three trillion years. Yeah, so was... Trillion. I don't even know if I could write a trillion. <laughs> just like, how many zeros? I just, I'm never good with that anyways.
So I was mentioning about the moon trees. So moon trees were grown from seeds taken to the moon in the early 1971. After orbiting the Earth with Apollo 14 mission, these tree seeds returned to Earth and were germinated. After being planted with their Earth-bound counterparts, these seedlings show no difference after 20 years of growth. Hmm. Interesting. So there's definitely the, you know, being out in outer space didn't have effect on trees. Wow. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> So I guess if we went into space, we wouldn't have any effect on us. So maybe it would. <laughs> I'd be like, I don't know if I could eat food like that. <laughs> it's like up in the air. and Yeah, I know. It's crazy. So you guys, I'm carefully painting these end pieces. And I did get black, but I actually like it. That's okay. So I don't fret if you get black. It's actually nice. It gives it a burgundy. She's a rebel, Miss Sandy. Yeah, I like to be dairy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so... If you, Tracy, you will probably get mad at me for this, but I'm going to tell you a little secret. If you're daring and you can be super careful with the black, if you add not even an ant size to the red, small, 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 you'll get coverage better and more of a burgundy, rich red, whatever. It's not so transparent, the red. It's, yeah. We've um, done that with mittens before. Yeah, just a little, but you cannot do too much black. You have to do the smallest amount. I'd even pull from that line you drew and just pull the black in. Gives you a richer bit. color. And it, yeah, that's it. It just more, it covers the background quicker too. Do you want to sketch out where the white parts go in the side mirrors before you fill yeah. those in? Maybe? Yes, or should we just do white on top of the red? Either one. Think? I'll do, can, let's try white on top of the red. We can do that. Let's do red. That's fine. So yes, but you mean black, is that what you meant? No. I, just, I feel like I need a black outline. That's fine. So this is a little tricky. I trust you. So we'll just kind of... She kind of knows what she's doing. We'll so. take some black and just a tiny bit just so we don't lose the sketch again. In fact, now that I've covered... I believe I've covered all my truck other than these two side lights. Yep. So let's... Now that we've covered, can I outline in black? I would truck? outline in black and then we can probably take a break and let it dry okay. a little bit. So and then we'll come back Once and you've do... covered and feel confident about your red coverage... Let's start to outline in black. I know I still have to do these, but let's just, I'm just gonna. So don't think too much. Whatever brush you're most comfortable using, and you only need a tiny bit of black, but let's just give it an outline. That way we don't lose everything. So just a window. Did you know trees are able to communicate and defend themselves against attacking insects? Really? No idea. Scientists have found that trees can flood their leaves with chemicals called gotta say the word wrong so I'm not even gonna say the word <laughs> the insect and they, yeah, really? they use this chemical insects be, um, begin their raid they can also signal danger to other trees so they can start their own defense interesting oh. so they can kind of fight off maybe like we fight off the flu or something like that they can fight off you know people that are trying to invade there wow yeah they are pretty amazing I think even like insects animals when you learn about how they change their coat and everything for oh, a camel yeah. i'm just yeah. like it's amazing yeah so she's just outlining everything right now do you want to just do the why you've got your black on your paintbrush do you want to just do the um two little tire they're tires yeah. yeah i thought you were going to tell me to do the lettering <laughs> no <laughs> the lettering is the last the thing okay. no I can the do lettering's that. last all right so um i just have to paint red inside here and then she's asking to do the tires, so let's right. do... Right, those are just literally yep, like... let's paint red quickly yep. and then we'll do the tires. No, I know you love to do all the... What are all the mountains that you've hiked? I know you've been doing a lot lately. Oh, uh, so do many. Do you have a favorite? Yeah, um, Welch and Dickey. And I have to say, I did Dixville Notch, which is a little further up beyond Mount Washington, like another So these are all in the New Hampshire area? Incredible. It was oh, one of my very favorites. Cool. And right yeah, now, how's incredible. the foliage now? Horrible. There wasn't oh. a full. It was like it's gorgeous around here on the highways. It's like a painting. Yeah, it was beyond. It was oh, more okay. like November, even though we're not November. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was not. So yeah, I would say we're about peak here now. It's beautiful no? here. Mm. When we were coming back on the highway, it was just just a whole like yeah plethora of colors. It was gorgeous. I was like, I just want to stop and take a picture. I'm like, yeah, but we're on the highway. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'll just pretend and throw some mountains in the back of it. We'll Photoshop it in. So have you started your Christmas shopping yet, Tracy? Um, yeah. <laughs> I start in, like, summer. Do you really? No. I'm joking. I'm joking. No. I can't even. I There's people I know that they're done by, like, Thanksgiving with everything. 
My sister-in-law is ridiculous. Really? She does it all. Like, her last hurrah is like, um, I wonder, are we um, having, I wonder, Black Friday stuff? I don't well, know. Well, I mean, probably online. Everything's going online anyways, but, I mean, they probably, I don't know, because they, they limit how many people come in. So those people will be super excited that wait in line all day and they're only limited like 100 people in. They're like, woohoo, I'll definitely get what I want because you won't have the mad <laughs> rush of everybody. It's crazy. So who, <laughs> who puts their tree up? Um, in no, in, we do uh, right after Thanksgiving. Do you right after mm -hmm. Thanksgiving? Yep. I actually do too. We do, and then we can enjoy it the whole long time. Okay, so tires. Where do we put the tires? If I look here, I have about four fingers right there. So if I put my four fingers right here, I know my tire is somewhere there. Um, let me just do. Do it you want to do time. it in from the bumper? How far in from the bumper? So like. Oh, I see what you're saying. You yeah, know what I mean? good idea. So that's two fingers from the bumper. So Tracy said, let's do the bumper's edge. I'm about two fingers, so yeah. I can mark a spot right there. So yeah, do a dot and then another dot for how wide it is. And then we'll do the other side. Obviously, it's going to be the same. If it's not, it should be. So it's a crooked truck. Out. All right, so that those markings are the outer side of the, the uh, tire. How wide is the tire? It's three fingers wide. So if I put my three fingers here, now use your own discretion. I don't know how big your fingers are, but if you feel like they look too big, then don't do it. Make it smaller. My fingers are, they're about three of mine. So there's my two shapes. And then how long are they? I'd say Let's two go, fingers. I may even are, do it up from the bottom, maybe. Like it's one finger, you know what I mean? Well, but then what if they didn't? Oh, that's true. Yeah, so okay. let's just do it. So it's about two fingers um, high, the tire. True. So if I do two fingers high. Oh, right, because my truck is actually. Yeah, their truck yeah. might be in a different position. So two fingers high, okay? So there's my marks. So now that's kind of rounded, I guess. Is it rounded? Yeah, they're just kind of black squares. And then we can paint them in. Easy peasy. Yeah, it's all measuring with fingers. It's what all measuring with fingers. Our fingers? I don't know because I know. Remember years ago when we first started doing this, we used the, the we tried to use our paintbrush and like use the numbers on the paintbrush. Oh, but yeah, then yeah, it was yeah, like, okay, we'll work. go to number and then, thirteen. And yeah, and not they even, probably yeah. couldn't even see the numbers on the brush. No, definitely not now. So the knock on wood tradition comes from a time when primitive pagans used to tap or knock on tree to summon the protective spirits that resided in them. You know, I always go like that whenever there's a problem. You're like, yeah, knock on wood. Yeah. And you're like looking for wood. <laughs> yeah, right. Who knew? So you used to try to summon the, the tree gods or spirits or whatever. Okay, so there's my tire. Yeah, I think that's perfect. So, I think that's good. So that was, we have just all the different trees and decorations. We'll let that dry a little bit. That's so a good idea, yeah. Perfect so time for a break. We painted that. We need that to dry before the tree goes on. Yep. So at the same time, we can be doing it back here maybe. Yeah, so why don't we take okay. a break? Okay. So then people can, you know, tweak or do whatever they need to. We'll take a quick break and okay. we'll be back shortly. So we'll be back in a minute. Many medicines used to treat colds and flu contain acetaminophen, a pain reliever and fever reducer found in hundreds of over-the-counter and prescription medicines. But taking too much or more than one medication containing acetaminophen per day can damage your liver. So always read the label and don't take acetaminophen if you drink three or more alcoholic drinks every day. To learn more, visit fda.gov slash OTC pain info. A message from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Food and Drug Administration. When I first saw a turtle, my heart was full. Not anything but lonely. We had this like deep connection, this heart connection. He just wants to be close to you and part of your life. Every day with turtle is a perfect day. When I'm holding her, it makes me feel calmer. I think everything he does shows how much he loves us. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a little bit of a lot of things. But they're all pure, pure love. 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 Most of us like to be out in the sun. That's why sunscreen and other safety measures are key to protecting your skin from aging and cancer. The FDA recommends using a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher. Also, look for broad spectrum on the label. That means both harmful ultraviolet A and B rays are blocked. Remember, SPF plus broad spectrum equal healthy fun in the sun. Visit www.fda.gov sunscreen for more information. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration.
Welcome back. It's with Tracy. Um, I hope you guys had a nice little quick break. Things have dried now on our painting and we're going to get started by doing our trees. So with our trees, you um, do have yellow and blue, which will make green. So you're going to have to mix a nice green, um, which is back here. We're going to be doing that. So I'm going to take Actually, I'm going to grab, excuse me, I'm just going to grab a my little extra here. So I'm going to take some of my yellow, some of my blue, and I'm going to mix green. So here's a nice kind of dark green, like a foresty green. Get that all mixed really well. And depending on the color, you know, how much blue or how much yellow you use, it's about half and half right now to get that green. I'm just going to start kind of blocking out my trees. So what I'm going to do is on this side, um, it looks like there's about four trees. So what I'm going to do is actually draw lines, believe it or not. I'm going to go like this and draw one line straight down. It's not completely straight. It's going to go to a little above my bumper. And then I'm going to draw one that goes off the canvas. And then draw one lower. And then again. So it kind of looks like a seaweed in a way, but that's going to give you position of knowing where to put your trees. And then also for the other side, same thing. I'm going to go a little bit ways down. Like I said, you can have your trees be any way you choose. I'm just giving you guys a basis of where you're going to be putting them. Okay. This one's going to go up and off. And this one is too. So that's, and the reason I do that is because you're going to be actually have it be skinnier, obviously at the top. And then as it goes down, it gets um, wider, but over here, it's always just going to be green. So then I'm going to go and just, Doing a dabbing effect, if you watched me for in the past, I do like this kind of dabbing effect, pushing into the canvas. So I'm gonna take some more of my green, let's hope it doesn't fall down here. And I'm just gonna kind of dab, 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 just to give it a little bit at the top so it looks like trees. And as I go down, I just kind of can fill this in here. Okay, same thing with this one. I'm just going to dab at the top a little bit with your brush. So tell them to be sure to leave a little bit of a space so you see the different points. Yes, know. so as Sandy had mentioned, you want to leave some space so you know there's actual individual trees. That's why I had you draw those trees separately so you know where to start. So you have a baseline. And it's okay if you see some of the blue sky up here in the top. Take some more of your green. And the same thing here. So just dabbing, you go right up to the edge of your truck and you're going to do that for the last one. So definitely. So during the break, Sandy and I were chatting and I was asking her, what's her favorite thing for Thanksgiving? Like, what do you like to eat? Do you have a favorite thing? Do you have a spec like so when you have Thanksgiving, do you have, like there's a special thing you well, always have, have to have on your table? We like. always have French onion soup. Oh, okay, yeah, that's one different. One of my favorites. Okay, now do you make I it? Or is it your specialty, or does someone sauce. bring that? Or it's my mom's specialty. She makes it, and it's so good. Yum. And now, so cranberry sauce cranberry is it? Sauce. The, is it the canned one, or is it the freshly made? No, it's the freshly made. Okay, so yeah. it's not the can you plop out and I, do I'm little fine slices. I'm that too, though. Yeah, but yeah no, I know it's like so old school. Yeah, I know. That's so funny. We always have both. We have the ones with the chunky chunkiness to it, and then yeah. we have the ones like the with the canned ribs on it. Right. So you see how pretty much simple that was. You just adding that and then adding all the adding all the color. I can speak today. Same thing here. Just starting up the top. I'm just doing a little bit of dabbing, and this is actually my not even a pointy brush. This is my flatter brush, and I'm in my brush. My bristles are kind of flailing out a little bit, which is okay because it gives it more of a bit of effect here. So same thing. Um, truck, we can go back over again and do the black outlines. So actually a little bit of yellow just got in there, which I think is fine. So it gives it a little more, more dimension. And you want to go back over your lines so you don't see those. How are we thinking? Good? Very good, yep. So we'll do the white later right at the end, right? Yep, I would do the white after because we have to add some white highlights and stuff anyways. So, um, Sandy, you want to jump on okay. and do our nice big tree in the middle? So we're going to add the tree to the back of the pickup truck. And we are going to use the same color. We're mi we've mixed green already, so we should have the green. And we're going to, this is the brush you use, correct, for the other trees, Trace? Yep. So we're going to use the same brush and the same technique as um, the same way Tracy did these other trees in the background. 
Um, I think I'm going to sketch out a basic shape first. So this is a tall triangle. Okay, kind of, I like how it bends up. A little curve at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, okay, so we'll start with, we want it to be very wide. So I'd say three to four fingers on the edge here. So that would be this line right here. We're gonna do three fingers and we're gonna mark a dot with the green. And then on this side, same thing, three fingers. I believe it's three fingers, yeah. So three fingers will mark a dot. So we know how wide the tree is go going to be. We know it's going to only get narrower till it comes to a point. And we'll even kind of twist the point like she did. So let's just kind of draw it out. So stay on the skinny side. I hope I didn't go too wide. Stay on the skinny side, so I'm actually going to start I was going to say, put a point up at the top, maybe. Yeah, so, so I'm going to show you a little trick with the acrylic paints. I have to erase. So you should be able, if you're using acrylic paints, to wipe right off if you make a mistake. So I grab my paper towel and my rag. Plus our background is already towel. dry, so, so it shouldn't mess so up I any of the things. So I dipped it in the water. My water is very dirty with pink, but that should be fine. And then we just take our finger and we just press down on the canvas and it should come right off. Ta -da! Fold it over. So if you make a mistake anytime you're painting with us, this should be easy enough to erase. You gotta as do it right away though. Yeah, yeah, as long as it's yeah. not dry. Okay, so then we're gonna start to fill in the tree with dabbing green in there. And you want to go outside the lines that she does. You just you don't want it to look exactly, like somebody yep. literally like went and took a tool and shaped their tree. You want it to be very scraggly. And it overlaps the bottom of the truck. Yeah. So we're going over that line we drew. And don't be afraid to add a lot of paint because you want to give it like, you know, more dimension and stuff. Yeah, I can mix more. Which is good. Yeah, no, we decorate definitely right after Thanksgiving. Which I always think is early, but then you appreciate it. And then it looks so pretty, and then you take it down, and you're like, wow, my house is so empty again. <laughs> I know. But some of my friends will go crazy. It's just unbelievable what they do. Like, the decorations, like, everywhere. Or those people that that's, like, their main thing. Every, like, how room is Christmassy and themed and decorated, and even the bathrooms. And I'm like, I, where do you I, store all I that used stuff? to do that. And Did you? When the kids were small, I did all. I used to put a garland up over the cabinets and light it and all that. But but where do you I store it? Do you have a good storage? Attic. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I was attic. gonna say we don't really have an attic. Yeah, that's the problem. Is all that great stuff? Like, where do people store that stuff? Like, so your system. Sorry, you're going down just a little over the back of the truck there with your do with your um, dabbing. Yeah. And you want it to be like random fluffiness. It doesn't want it. You don't want it to be completely, you know, perfect. So. So I need. So it's hard to cover what's behind it. That's a little tricky. So um, we need to mix another color to the green. So you can do two, one of two things. We can have three colors going. We have our base green that we just mixed. I can do a darker version green, which would be adding a little bit more blue to it, which I'm going to do. And then we can do even a lighter version, but I'm gonna make it a little bit darker right now just so I have another shade of green to help cover. So we still want it to be green, but we're gonna add a little more blue for a darker version of it. And then when we add the snow, I know you didn't put snow on that, but we can add a little bit of the white at the end, just on, on, right, the on this. Oh, you, yeah, if yeah, you yeah. Wanted, I guess, whatever. No. Yeah, that's fine. We can see if we like it. Yeah. Doesn't hurt my feelings. <laughs> I remember I say that to people. It's okay, it doesn't hurt my feelings. No, we're all good. So um, I have to add a little bit of white to this just to get covered. So, that's fine. So Maybe. I'm adding a tiny, tiny bit of white to my green. Um, if you're struggling... I think I added some yellow to mine, it looks like. Yeah, which I did a little. So um, we're going to just add a tiny bit of white, see what happens. The white will help get coverage so that you don't see this window and this line and all this behind it. And then on top of that, we'll do more green again. I just need this. It's kind of like a primer, and I need to kind of cover that. 
so then it should just come. Well, that's always the thing when you're doing paintings with layering and, you know, instructing wise, so. Because you have them. So we'll let this dry a little bit and then we'll put the green on top. It just covers the red behind it. So it's coming together now. So white yes. is key. We need a tiny bit of white, not a lot. We'll let it dry. We'll do some more green on top. I can even try a little yellow. Um, okay, so what's next, Tracy? Um, I, why don't you We have maybe, to do the white in here, too. Yep, you do. The white why don't here. we draw the presence, maybe? Okay. Maybe sketch out the presence in white and then add a little bit of the brown to it. Okay. So you see them? Because if you were even to just do straight brown, you weren't going to, you weren't, yeah, I would just draw the boxes in white. Okay, so let's do this one first. So that's pretty much a square and it's coming out of the back of the pickup. So we are just going, I'm doing it in white so you can see it. So just a square. You may want to add a little bit of white if you have brown anyways, because you know, I think the, the straight brown would be just too dark. And you could do any kind of packages you want. I mean, they don't have to necessarily be square. I think I did a painting before where we had a circle one. Somebody drew a wreath on it if you wanted to. So I'm going to make this one taller just so it's different shape yeah, than definitely. that one. Yep. And it can, it can go in front of the tree a little. Actually, I should have brought that one. I'll bring this one over a little bit more in front of the tree. Yeah, you can have your packages be whatever you choose. You can have three, you can have four, you can have a bunch of little packages. I think I'm you can draw a dog one, yeah. if you wanted to. I think I had someone draw a dog out of the back. Like instead of a present, they actually drew their dog. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so he was kind of hanging out the back idea. next to the tree. I'm going to do a tall one right here. Yeah, so this is where you, you know, this is your painting. You choose to paint whatever you want. I'm using a little bit of brown, and I'm probably going to use a little bit of white just to lighten it a little bit. So I'm my brown and white and I will paint this in yeah because if you did straight brown you, you need blue, you yeah need we have white. to remember we have red behind all yeah, this, this exactly. so white is a primer and we do need white for everything to get in so you're so if you feel frustrated cover your red with white first let it dry then you can go over it with brown so on your hikes do you ever collect any pine cones I haven't in a while, but I have a lot of pine cones in my Did you know that right pine now. cones have genders? Did you know really? there's a male and a female pine cone? No. I did not either. Wow. So a male pine cone sheds pollen, and a female pine cone makes seeds. Wow. When the wind blows pollen into the female cones, you guessed it, the seeds become mm -hmm. pollinated. Ta-da! Wow. Who knew? I had no idea. I thought they were just one kind of pine cone. That's weird. Nature's amazing. Wow. Yeah. So now when you go and you, you know, walk your trails or whatever, you can see pine cones and maybe see if they're boy or girl pine cones. And what's, how can I tell the difference I have no again? idea. Oh, so funny. <laughs> Okay, so this you'll just need a little bit of patience, dry time, that's all. Like I said, make sure you do a white first, the boxes in white, I would completely do, and then add the brown once they dry. Yeah, so then you can, you know, clean off your brush and then make the, do the white details and stuff. Yay. Okay. Now what, Trace? So What's the next? <laughs> what do we do you can next? add the white to the side mirrors and the bumper. So clean up your brush. All right, so we'll do the little mirror. And then I'm gonna go back to the tree a little. Okay, so I have a tiny, my tiny brush, with a little bit of white paint, and we'll just add the little mirrors in here. So we were just talking about tree growth, and it actually says here, different parts of tree growth at, wait a minute, different parts of the tree grow at different times. Throughout the year, typically most of the foliage growth happens in the spring, followed by trunk growth, trunk growth in the summer, and root growth in the fall and winter. Isn't that exciting? You're very concentrated over there. I, I know because I can't. Do She's more. drawing little little half circles over there. Okay, so and now yeah, you want to also probably switch your brush and and uh, do the bumper in white. And once you do the bumper in white, you probably add the highlights to the, the tires and the highlights to the, the green trees. Are you planning to still add more green to the, to your yeah. green tree? Yep. Okay. okay, so I have white 
my medium brush and I'm just filling white in. And it looks like the there's a little bit of black in it too, so it's yeah. gray. Yep. So you want to probably do a coat of white and then touch the black ever so slightly so it looks more of a grayish tone instead of, because you don't really see white bumpers, they're more, you know, silver, but we don't have silver. So we'll do it gray. Definitely. Have you done your Christmas shopping yet? Uh, <laughs> no, because really. you're a last minute Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Like when it's Easter, you're like, I gotta go get baskets. Tomorrow's Easter. <laughs> ah! So I'm adding it the smallest <clears throat> amount of black. The key is do not add too much and you'll get this nice little shadow on your bumper. So I just dip the brush in the tiniest amount. Okay, and now it's got a gray tone. Okay. Yeah, then you could even add a little bit of the highlights to the tires since you have the white on your brush already. Yep. So I have a little bit on my brush of uh, white, very little, and I'm just gonna, oh, that might be too much. Yes, yeah, so you might wanna do a dry brush effect a little bit, wipe it off on the side of your plate. Yep. Um, you could even, since you have the paint on your brush, do a highlight on each of the, the like the pushed out sides on either side of the. This here? Yes. And what am I doing? Oh, a little okay, bit of a, yeah. yeah, it's just a little bit of a highlight. So if you do too much white on the tire, just uh, balance it out with more black. So I have black on my brush right now. I'm going this direction. So now she's just going ahead and adding some highlights. Um, you know, she can highlight the tires. She can highlight the back of the truck on either side of the main trunk. Truck trunk. Just simple little highlights. Don't overthink it. You're just going to take um, a little bit of the paint. You can wipe it off on the side of your plate or of your cup so you don't have a lot of paint on it and just do little highlights. So right now I'm going to go over one more coat on my tree. Just so I'm mixing the green, same green again. So like I said, the tree was a little tricky, but you needed white. So once you've done your white and covered the red and white behind it, the white of the window and the red of the truck, then you're re ready to do your second coat. So I have a nice green and we're just going to And if you find you already coat. got good coverage, you don't need to do this step necessarily, but um, yeah, because of the white in the background. So she's just quickly adding a little bit more green so you actually don't see the end white, I guess. End white. <laughs> Surprise! I did that. Oh, you know why? Because now it's giving me two shades of green. That's why. See how it's giving me this mint green yep. color? That's what I want. So we're just going to quickly put a bow on the package. So let's outline them with black and our little detail brush. So if you find that you don't have the best detail brush when you want to write your name or whatever you choose in the back of your truck, after it all dries, you can use a black Sharpie. If you feel you have better control with that, um, we've had people do that in the past. They've just taken it home and then used the black Sharpie because they can get really nice printing done that way or a script or whatever you choose to do. So it is just simple outlining everything, just adding the bows just so they look like packages. And if you choose to, if you have more colors than just the colors that we had mentioned, if you wanna make your packages different colors, if you wanna do poke blocks or stripes or make them more Christmassy, I just felt like this was old school kind of vintage kind of truck. So we kept it as, as basic craft colored brown paper packages, tied up with string. But um, so now probably I'd say add the, the uh, lines. You're on all the little details. Yeah, Sandy's a little detail she queen. Mad at me. I'm so, sorry, it's, it's so in my blood. Little detail it's queen. So remember, this is a people have to like do lunch and whatever they you know time wise you know. Okay. So let's get cracking there. All right, all right. So now I'm writing in the middle. Yes. All right. So when you're doing your lettering, try to measure it out. Know how many letters you're doing. Uh, center. Uh, so in other words, I have four. I have five letters. So you got to count make sure you try to center them does that make sense so what i usually do when i do letters i try to find she said there's five so you so um you said there's five letters for yeah i don't um, know what you're five. writing yep okay so i always find the center point so find your center point of your of your word so if there's obviously six letters 
your center is right in the middle of three and three. So I would kind of find your I'll center point them. and then I go side to side. So I have five letters. So your center point is your V. Yeah, so you, so you just got to kind of count and figure that out ahead of time and then center it. She's good so at lettering. I so am, I mean, because I have more to add to this. So. Okay, so you want to keep in mind, look at your what your word is and, and whatever that center letter is or center of your word, that's kind of how you map it out. And then you can write whatever you choose. Something farm. Bovis tree farm? Yeah. Bovis tree farm. So now this is tricky because I have to write backwards. So that, because if I start tree here, I might run out of room or whatnot. So I have to do this backwards. Yeah, so you always like, so her, she has a space. So her center right now is a space. Um, so that's kind of how you can lay things out. And I'm sure this is And don't come overthink right. it. I mean, it's your painting. If you just want to write, like, on there, the bowl and just one big word, you can do that too. She's getting a little creative over here. I am? I know. She's having fun making up names. Okay. So, so do, and you want to add the lines? Yep. So I have black and a tiny bit of white. I don't know. So Tracy's got them. So this is just kind of messy. I it's guess. very messy. It's, not, it's very oh, sketchy. No. It's not, you don't need a ruler. Yep, no. And if you don't want to add, I think that adding it makes it a little more typical of what the truck would look like. You know, if I think it's like a Ford, maybe, I would guess, Chevy. I'm not sure. I'm not a car girl. So all she has left to do is um, she needs to take probably her medium brush. We're going to add white highlights. And then we're going to show her a neat trick of how we do snow. So hello again. Yes, I'm the voice from over the side. <laughs> so I'm your conscience. Tracy talks so much. <laughs> so um, we're just going to take the medium brush. We're going to just dip it in our white. Try not to get your, your white messy. I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit so more of a dry, dry effect. And yes, I always like to hold my painting. Sorry about that. So, probably because I'm short. So I'm just gonna on one side just do a little bit of dabbing. So on one side, I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna do a little bit of dabbing to one side of each, each tree. And I want it to be kind of random because you, you're thinking that this is the white that landed on the, the snow, sorry, the, the snow. And I'm just gonna go a little ways down, add a little bit more white, wipe it off on the side of your brush. Same thing. Dab, 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 and dabbing here. So it's just adding like some snow had just fallen in the trees and landed on the sides. So just adding there. Then the trick that you want to do to get your snowflakes, believe it or not, is you're going to take the back end of your brush, you're just going to take it, you're going to dip it, right into your paint, okay, you take the back end and you're just going to go ahead and push directly into the canvas and pull away. And this is how you get all your snowflakes. Push in. You don't want to go quickly because then you get these weird drippy things. So just kind of randomly. Yeah. You could do the big one too. I'll you could do, do the big, big one, one exactly. So depending on the size you want, I've had people do the back end of the big brush or the smaller brush, depending how you, what kind of snowflakes you want. And you can feel free to overlap it and choose how many you want to have on there. So the painting is pretty much finished. Um, we are going to be doing another painting um, for December. Um, it's going to be, um, do you want to grab this painting here, Sandy? The painting behind us, which is the two cardinals um, with the sign, another personalized mm -hmm. sign. You can choose to put everyone on it. Um, that's called Season's Greetings. Um, and we're going to be... Um, doing that in December for you guys. Yep, so definitely final. contact um, them if you'd like to get some painting supplies. But yeah, so that will be the next painting. And uh, do you have anything else? So we can just no. finish adding some snowflakes? Yeah, finish adding snowflakes. And feel free, it's optional if you wanted to add snow here as well, the same way you did that. That's optional. Tracy didn't do it here, but you can. Um, and I think that's it. I think it looks great. Yeah, so I'll let you guys finish all the snowflakes. I'm going to finish up here. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'm Tracy. I'm Sandy. Happy painting. And we'll see you see soon. See you next time. Take care. Take care.